News' Dave Lopez is live for us in downtown L.A. with the latest on the case and reaction to that bail reduction. Dave. Well, the attorneys uh, did their best. The attorneys for the doctor, George Tyndall, tried their best to get it lowered, saying he wasn't a risk and that he would not go anywhere. But it didn't work. They lowered it a little bit. He still has to come up with $160,000 cash in order to make bail. He's still in the protective ward at the county USC, uh, excuse me, at Twin Towers. And if he does make bail, there'll be some people who aren't happy about it. Dr. Kendall's only piece of property is a $300,000 condominium that he owns. His attorney argued in court today that Dr. George Tyndall is not a wealthy man, is not a flight risk, and is not a danger to anyone, and that his bail of $2,075,000 is exorbitant and should be reduced to no more than a half a million dollars and preferably $300,000. This defendant um, uses his authority as a doctor um, to manipulate young females. The prosecution said the doctor is a danger. One former patient begged the court, don't let him out. I respectfully ask that you consider the dangerousness of this man. And then Judge Teresa Sullivan made her decision, lowering the bail to $1.6 million. Outside of court, Tyndall's attorney said, I don't think we can make that. The doctor stood during the bail hearing, about 30 minutes, did his best not to look at the camera, never said a word. One of his accusers and two attorneys had plenty to say. He's a predator, and if he's out in the community, he will find a way to prey on victims. He was selling pictures of us, and he took pictures of me in 1990, and it's very disturbing. They're going to testify, and that's when my clients in the criminal case will be heard. Only then, not today, she said. And attorney John Manley, who represents five of the 16 victims in this criminal case, was critical of District Attorney Jackie Lacey. We need a special prosecutor in this case, and we need an investigation of USC. Jackie Lacey was sworn in at USC. She's, she's not met with any of the victims, but she's met with USC's administration on multiple occasions. She teaches in the law school. She, she went to school there. She's been honored there, and good for her. I mean, it's a, it's a great school. But at some point, you have too much connection as a public official to vote on something that affects something you're deeply involved with. We reached out to the district attorney's office, uh, Jackie Lacey in particular, for a comment. We did get a written response which said in part, the district attorney's professional relationship with the university, meaning USC, in no way uh, tells us how we should handle our cases. Direct quote from the district attorney's office. Again, if Dr. Tendall is uh, convicted of any of those crimes, he's looking at 53 years behind bars. Still behind bars right now, can't make bail. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News.